Hello everyone and welcome back to Crimson Dawn Lore, where I, the author, teach you, the viewer, about the world of Crimson Dawn. I know it's been an extremely long hiatus from the last time I did these kinds of videos, but now I'm hoping to make this a regular part of my channel. Today's episode is about the AK-24 weapons platform and its main variants. First designed by Kalashnikov Concern shortly after the founding of the new Soviet Union, the company built the AK-24 based off the feedback of the new Soviet armed forces when Soviet soldiers used the prototype AK-12 that in the Crimson Dawn universe was never realized into the 2017 version we know of today, and the AK-74M during the Second Russian Civil War from 2018 to 2023. The design team eventually made the weapon a modernization of the AK-74M, much like today's AK-12, making it less complicated to produce. Unlike today's AK-12, the AK-24 doesn't have a two-round burst function, and instead of having a peep sight at the rear, the AK-24 has the classic notch-style rear sight, which is also moved further back on the top of the receiver for better target acquisition. For easier field stripping, the dust cover is able to be moved upward on a hinge rather than completely coming off, also similar to today's AK-12. Like its predecessors, the AK-24 is chambered for the 545x39mm round, and is just as accurate, if not more so, than the firearms that came before it. It has remained as the main service rifle of the new Soviet Union throughout all of its conflicts, and it will continue to be an excellent service rifle for decades more, with slight alterations over time. Nearly 450 years after its introduction, the AK-24 platform would eventually be heavily modified to fire plasma bolts, though that's a topic for another video. Now on to the other variant. The DBV-24 is an 8-shell magazine-fed shotgun that is chambered for 12-gauge shells, and is exceptional at close range. Like the modern-day Saga-12, it only fires in semi-auto. The PP-24 is an SMG that is chambered for the 7.62x25mm tuck rev round with a 30-round magazine, and it's quite popular among tank crews, though Spetsnaz operatives and paratroopers are also known to use the weapon. It fires in semi-auto and full-auto. The AKU-24 is a shorter barreled carbine variant of the AK-24, much like the AKS-74U, and is mainly used by Smetsnaz operatives and paratroopers, though it is also quite popular among tank crews due to the compact size of the weapon when the stock is folded. Like the AK-24, it fires in semi-auto and full-auto and holds 30 rounds in the magazine. The AKM-24 is a battle rifle that is chambered in 7.62x39, holding 30 rounds in the magazine. Though not as popular as the AK-24, it's well liked among Spetsnaz operatives. It fires in both semi-auto and full-auto. The RPK-24 is a light machine gun that's chambered in 545x39mm and uses 60 round coffin magazines. And like the baseline rifle, it fires semi-auto and full-auto. The SVD-24 is the preferred DMR of all branches of the armed forces and is chambered for 7.62x54mm rimmed held in 10 round magazines. Much like today's SVD, it only fires in semi-auto. The PTV-24 is an anti-material rifle used for long-range sniping, and is chambered for the 12.7x108mm round with a 10-round magazine. It only fires in semi-auto because even though it would be funny to shoot such a round in full auto, you would otherwise kiss your shoulder goodbye. And that's all the main variants for the AK-24 family of rifles. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Crimson Dawn Lore, and I'll see you next week.